This is Stella from Cool Gadget. I'm wondering, maybe you are looking for a new massive power bank for your iPhone, not only light and compact, but also bigger capacity with lower price. Charging your iPhone at any time, anywhere, just with a simple stick. You don't need to bring a cable anymore, and will not be affected by making calls, playing games, or sending messages. So, how can we find such a perfect massive power bank? Let's see what tests CG Lab are using to dig out the best massive power bank for us from thousands of products. So far, there are tons of massive power banks on the market. A good massive power bank needs proper magnetism, charging automatically, 15 watts of wireless fast charging, enough power for full day usage, smaller size, and higher safety. So, the core evaluation dimension of massive power banks includes magnetism, wireless charging speed, automatic charging and animation, battery capacity, weight, volume, internal structure, charging temperature, and drop test. The entire CG Lab team spent three weeks on testing, and they find out there are many magnetic power banks that have problems like electricity deficiency, over slow charging speed, impact telephoto shooting, weak magnetic, too big to use, and others. Through the initial filter, the CG Lab narrows down the scope to the last seven power banks from dozens. In addition to use hardcore tools for getting rigorous test data, CG Lab also combines with real people's feelings of use, conducting a comprehensive assessment of each massive power bank. The CG mentioning the following test refers to the Cool Gadget Magnetic Wireless Power Bank. First of all, let's see the weight and volume of these massive power banks. Since we all want them to provide enough power without causing discomfort, such as too heavy to cause sore hands and finger deformation after using it for a long time. They weight the power banks by using an electronic scale, keeping two decimal places for comparison. Apple's massive power bank is the lightest one, only 113.61 grams, just about 2x. CG comes second, just 6 grams heavier than Apple's. SY is the third, about 130 grams, and iWork is the heaviest, reaching to 159.83 grams, as the weight of an extra egg on Apple. Then they use the vernier caliper with digital numbers to measure the length, width, and height of every power bank, and get the volume by calculation. Obviously, iWork is the biggest, reaching 130.18 cubic centimeters. CG won this test, only 63.75 cubic centimeters. Next, how about charging animation and charging automatically? Except Apple's power bank, can anyone else do it? Just stick the iPhone to each power bank. Both CG and Anchor can start charging automatically without clicking. Meanwhile, CG power bank has circle charging animation. The rest of the power banks all need to press a button to start charging, and they have different charging animations. This might cause charging failure if you forget to press the button. The third test is the capacity of power banks. This test will affect how many power banks we need to bring when we go outside. Just for kidding. Actually, this test can help us to find the superior power bank. We certainly hope that it can provide more power to support a full day of use after our iPhones run out of battery. Adjust the tester to 7.5 watts, combined with the discharge test software to evaluate the capacity of these power banks. I work with 60,000 mAh wins first place in this test. CG ranks first among the remaining 5,000 mAh power banks, and Apple comes in last place. So, what's the temperature of these massive power banks during the charging process? Drain the iPhone down to 20% power, stick power bank, then put them in pen's pocket. Mirror and record the initial temperature of the power bank with infrared temperature gun. After 30 minutes, test the temperature of the power bank again. Then drain the power down to 20% again and cool to room temperature to test the next one. The test result of 5000 mAh power banks shows that Belkin had the highest temperature, reaching to 111.33 degrees Fahrenheit. iPhone was the coolest, at 103.28 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, we can also see the charging speed of each power bank. After 30 minutes charging, Apple's massive power bank gives 25% power to the test iPhone, Belkin provides 23%, and CG gives 21%. Next, we would like to know the self-charging time of each power bank. While providing more power to the iPhone, the less time we spend on charging the power bank, the more convenient it is for us to use it whenever we want. In this test, the lab emptied the power bank, 
then plugs in the power to start timing until the power bank shows full. Full charge is also displayed on test tools, and the length of time used is recorded. Through this comparison of these 5,000 mAh power banks, Morphe takes the longest time, 158 minutes. Apple is 97 minutes. CG is 102 minutes. Belkin is about 120 minutes. The shortest compared to the longest, you can save about one hour. Now, let's see how they test the magnetism that most in fact using experience. The tester seeks power banks to the iPhone one by one, then shakes them few times to observe these power banks will drop at which time. In this session, it seems that Belkin, Anchor, Morphe, and iWork are easily dropped. For further tests, they need to use professional test equipment to find out differences in magnetism among these power banks. CG Lab built a device like this. The whole device is put on an electronic scale. An iPhone 14 Pro can be placed on the top, then stuck the massive power bank on the iPhone, hanging a box on the back of the power bank. Add weight till the box and power bank fall together. It means that the weight in this box is heavier than the magnetic of this power bank. By recording and comparing the weight that finally caused the box to fall, it is clear that the bigger the number proves the stronger the magnetism. Combined with these two tests, Apple's magnetism is the strongest and Morphe is the weakest. On charging and discharging interface, Apple only supports its own Lightning interface and wireless charging. Because the Lightning interface only supports power input, not wired output, which means that Apple only supports the magnetic way to recharge your phone. Even if you think wireless charging is a little slow, there is no second option. And the rest of the power banks are Type-C charging ports. Supports power output, also as a massive power bank, but supplies two options for charging. But only SY, CG, and iWork can reach to 18 watts wired output and 15 watts wireless output. More interesting, you can use massive power on your iPhone and use a cable to charge your equipment with Type-C ports at the same time, such as a second cell phone or Bluetooth earphone. As a small massive power bank, usually it doesn't access to your iPhone with a wire. If it falls, what will happen? Set the seven power banks at about 3.9 feet above on different types of floors, and drop face down and counter down. Guess what happens to these massive power banks? At first, they run the test above carpet. All the massive power banks pass. No damage to appearance and function. Then, they run the test again above the wood floor. Both the face and the corner made a loud crash sound, but they still all passed the test. In the final test, they choose to run over the marble floor. With thin glass on the face, SY has a unique outlook, but because this material is too fragile, SY got a cracked glass in the face drop test. After the corner drop test, you can hear the sound of internal structures hitting each other. Because of using aluminum as shell, the CG power bank has relative light scars, basically does not affect appearance. There are also several power bank shell marks in the marble floor drop test. I work at the worst, the whole power bank is falling apart. After six drop tests, self-charging and charging functions of all these seven power banks can also be used. How about the internal structure? To answer this question, take a deeper exploration of the manufacturing process and materials used in the power bank. The first to be disassembled is SY. Using tweezers can easily remove the cover. No glue on the magnetic circle, just place directly next to the coil. After removing the two screws, lift the whole battery to see the internal structure is quite simple. Next, they spent a lot of time to disassemble the anchor's shell. They even used a small cutting tool for violent demolition. The thing is very chaotic and the environment unfriendly. Because of the snap fit design and too much glue to use, the magnetic circle has been hidden into the shell, and the whole structure of anchor is no particularly different from SY. The third one they dismantle is CG power bank. The shell structure is simple. The aluminum part can be easily removed. Then remove the two screws and the circuit board. There is a small temperature measurement device just beside the battery. In addition, we can also see that there is a graphene radiator. Next, they disassembled Apple's massive power bank. There are two batteries connected in series, eight screws face and a metal cooling plate. The protective plate also has a cheap integrity protection, and the entire bag is affixed to a complete metal plate to ensure heat dissipation. The materials used are relatively high quality. Through all the above series of tests, the test results are summarized as follows. In each test session, top three brands will win a start. After organizing all the data, we can see the ranking of these seven power banks clearly. 
Now you must know how to choose the best MagSafe power for your iPhone. Which one comes with the first price in your mind? See you next time!